All right, let's walk through the LCD demo LabVIEW project. This is the version that's based on the SPI serial bus interface. Here I have the PMOD CLS connected to the SPI interface on connector B. Right now the VI is running and it's displaying the three values from the onboard accelerometer, X, Y, and Z values. Let me try flipping my MyRio upside down. We see Z going through zero, goes all the way to negative one G, that's when it's upside down. Let me flip it back up again. We'll bring that back up to right around plus one G. Also, the MyRio has the built-in onboard button. Press that a few times, that switches between zero and one. All right, let's see what the block diagram has to offer. Here I'm taking the accelerometer values and sending those simultaneously out to the local display as well as the character display on the LCD. It's all based on the SPI style interface and that's located right here. SPI has a number of parameters to select. Here you can pick whether or not you're doing the A or B connector. You can specify the mode as being write or read. Here's where you can specify the number of bits per frame as well as the serial clock frequency, and then you have some advanced options to work with as well. Here I'd like to point out that this SPI Express VI is expecting an array of U16 data type, that is unsigned 16-bit integers. Now I would like to use a string to create my array. That means I need to convert that first to a byte array. Byte array is U8 data type, and then I'm using a data type conversion to convert that over to U16 format. That's where that's located. All right, let's look at the character string here. To initialize the LCD display, I'm sending two escape sequences. The escape sequence begins with an escape character followed by a left square bracket, and then you have an instruction after that. The backslash codes Display version allows you to specify a mixture of standard displayable text and hexadecimal values, or you can simply display all of them as hexadecimal values. Now we initialize the display, get into the loop, and at this point we are reading the accelerometer and button values. Let me briefly, briefly show you where those are located as well. All right, these four values then are formatted into a string for our main display. I'm using format into string that's located in the string sub palette up here. And we need to specify this format string right here. Now if you look carefully you see familiar things like the X, the Y, the Z button and so forth. And then the uh, portions that begin with percent, those designate variable parameters. So for example, percent %f for the x, percent %f for the y value, percent %d for the value from the button. 5.2 says more specifically that we're allocating five characters for that value, as well as two characters that follow the decimal point. Finally, we send those out again to the SPI interface. Lastly, let's take a look at the propagation of the error cluster. This gets ORed with the stop button back here on the front panel. So either stopping it or an air condition breaks us out of the loop, we pass through the simple air handler and then execute a MyRio reset. Up here I'm pacing the loop at 200 milliseconds per loop pass.